not stay. Madam, is this transfer good on your beat? Darker than a normal rosé. Matthew Matten out of Portland is. Uh, Holds 12 times would, would, you, would you, would you, would you go back, please? A senior from Summit there. High School, he broke Galen what, Rupp's it? state record at the Oregon yeah. Relays in 342-54. Galen Rupp's record, I want to repeat that, that he broke. He's won four Class 5A titles in track, and he is the trying to become the sixth high school runner to break four minutes in this race, and he's currently in fifth. And Matthew M M Mayton is coming up now. He's in third. We're going to see if he can possibly break four minutes. I think he has a shot at it. Jenkins wins. Go Hagen in second. And across the line, it's going to be very close in third place for the youngster to break the four-minute barrier. Boy, he has his hands clasped together. And we'll see. He did it. He did it. He broke four minutes. Becomes the sixth high schooler in history to break four minutes in the first since 2011. And now there have been 430 sub four minute miles here at Hayward Field. <laughs> what a great way to end a track meet. Good luck. What a fantastic performance by all three Jenkins, Gohagen, and Matt. Welcome back to Ramon Talking. Now this past weekend, history was made. Mr. Matthew Maton broke the four minute barrier in high school running 359.38. And to put that in perspective, that's the third fastest all time behind only Alan Webb and Jim Ryan. Alan Webb, of course, went on to run 346, an American record. Jim Ryan got an Olympic silver medal. And Matthew Maton went on to take Alexa Efferson to prom. Let's dance! Staying on the high school scene, Mr. Mike Brannigan ran 842 and a 3200, breaking the New York State record. And that's the fourth fastest 3200 of all time, 12th all time when you consider two mile conversion. His 3200 time, faster than Dathan Ritzenhine. And when you do all the conversions, it's faster than Evan Jager and Ben Sorrell. Watch out for Mikey Brannigan. And in middle school news, an eighth grader in Florida threw down a nasty triple this weekend at the middle school state championship. 1061 in the 100, 2126 in the 200, and then he closed it off with a 4776 in the 400. And his name is Tyrese Cooper. We didn't mention that part, but he was so fast, college coaches are already reacting like this. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, Grady. And over in Manchester, Steven Sambu and Betsy Sena took road titles, while Bernard Lagat got another Masters World Record 2748 for 10 kilometers. Finally, though, Haile Gebrselaski finally, and for the second time, announces his retirement. He has done one of the best careers all time in the history of track and field. Congrats to him. Well said, Lincoln. In other news on the college scene, Mr. Clayton Vaughn of UT Arlington ran 9.93, number four all time. It was win legal. Watch out, Trayvon Bromel. It's going down. Now this weekend is a humongous weekend for the track and field world. Flow track is going to be at eight locations. That's right, eight. We're going to be live at the Junior College National Championships in Kansas to see the future NCAA stars. And we'll also be out in California for the California Community College Championships where we will see the future Christian Surratt. And we're going to be live at the Portland Twilight to see some action up there in the Northwest against the last chance qualifier action for some of those college kids. And then it's also conference weekend. We're going to be at covering SECs. We will be at Big 12s. We're going to be at Big 10s. We will be at PACs, also known as Pac-12s. And that's because I wrote it wrong on this board. And we're also going to be at the Hoka 1-1 Middle Distance Classic, where we're going to see all the great U.S. athletes go down, get some USATF qualifiers, get some world qualifiers. It's going to be a stack meet, give you all the great coverage from there. And then there's also two other meets going on. What else is happening? I, I can't let you forget about Doha over Ooh. there in Qatar, because Mr. Mo Farah running a 3K. I mean, he ran a two-mile world record. I know. The 3K record, 720, is it possible? I don't know, Mo Farah is gonna run fast in Doha. And then we also have the Shanghai Diamond League where Blankenship going up against Kipla got in that 1500. It's gonna be unreal. I'm telling you, there's just so much conferences, live action on flow, middle distance classic, Doha, Shanghai. You are gonna get a legit fix this weekend. But you know, you know what that means though. What? We're not gonna sleep all week. We're not gonna sleep. All right, we're not. Gonna you got sleep. your fix.